The next time you feel the tendency or the temptation to judge another person for a behavior that you notice in them, I want you to remember these words by Jesus. Do not judge because you will be judged. He says, in the same way you judge another is the way that you will be judged and the measure that you use to measure them is what will be measured back to you. He says, why do you notice the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye but you do not notice the plank in your own? And so, what Jesus is referring to here is the whole idea of the shadow as Jung describes it and the process of projection. And so projection is the tendency that we have when we have repressed some quality within ourselves to notice it in another. So why does Jesus say that in the exact same way that you judge another, you will also be judged? It's because of the fact that our external reality is really a mirror of our internal state of being. Think of your external world as your mind turned inside out. You are always walking around and interacting within your own consciousness. And so whatever it is that you are bumping up against in your reality is an aspect of yourself that needs to be reckoned with. And so every time you judge another, it's like you're looking at your own reflection in a mirror and you're pointing the finger of judgment. It comes right back to you. And so every time you notice something in another that triggers you or annoys you, take it as an opportunity to come to grips with something that you've been repressing within yourself. Take it as an opportunity to look within your own self and understand that there is a quality that you are seeing in this person that on some level you fear being perceived in the same light as you are perceiving this person.